What is up, everybody? She flew the cards here. Super excited. New Year 2017. Um, I have my logo. That's when I had longer hair. And also a hat. And cards. Uh, so, uh, why are y'all here? Well, I'm doing a YouTube video. <laughs> and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to post it on the two major uh, card sites for deck building. Um, I'm going to put this on Gwent Database. Uh, hopefully things go better than last time. And uh, Gwentify, and y'all can vote on it. Hopefully, you do. There's been a big thing with all my decks on GwentDB. So, please vote. I really appreciate it. So, the deck we're looking at today is you've seen it before. You've seen other streamers do it. Um, but now I want to take a, take a swing at it because I think that there is, uh, while the other streamers that did it were King Black Tooth, notably, he did the first one, uh, Consume Deck, which was very good. Uh, and then uh, McBeard did one, and uh, and CG Project Red really loved it. Uh, I thought I would throw my hand in the mix and see what I could do with the Monsters Consume deck. There's some similarities. There's some differences. So, in general, the Consume deck works with eating. So, who better, if you see the three of us together, who better do a Consume deck than me, right? Because, I mean, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I thought we had some fun with it this week. So, we have three different variations of the same deck. And uh, I'm going to play them all on my stream this week, which starts tomorrow, Monday, 7 p.m. Central to 10 p.m. Central on twitch.tv.shifutlycards. Uh, slash shifutlycards. So anyway, this is called Scooby Snacks. And the reason is because it's monsters and it's about eating. So my mind, being what it is, was like Scooby. Ro -ro so there we go. So how does it work? Well, we all have Neckers. Because that's kind of a cool little thing CD Project Red did, where they put Neckers in there and they gain strength when you eat them, and then they, in your deck, gain strength. So when they remove them, they come into play. The other two variations had Necker Warriors, which kept on building the Neckers. I just found that kind of clunky; it didn't really work for me too much. And it was a good idea, but I just I had better things in there. I thought so. The Neckers are in there. I have more more ghouls. Hashtag twenty six, by the way. I have more ghouls. You can take one of those out if you want to be 25. You want to be one of those people. Or one fiend. If you want to go. I have three ghouls because um, the main snack version of the deck are fiends. Because Scooby was a fiend for Scooby Snack. You see how I, my videos are multi-layered, baby. I bring you I bring you like all sorts of crazy references. I build stories. We share experiences. It's good. Uh, so the snacks are, are for the fiend. The Fiend or the Scooby Snacks, that's what everybody eats. So you want to get one in your opening hand. Then you want your Toad to eat it if you get lucky. That's the dream because it's a 13 Toad. That Fiend goes to your graveyard and you have 13 strength on the board. They're, they're going to either deal with it or they won't. If they don't deal with it, you have options. If they do deal with it, that's fine. Then you throw out a Ghoul. The Ghoul will then eat the what? The Fiend that's in the graveyard. So you get two, count them, two points of value for the Fiend. So the Fiend's the Snack. So he becomes a 12 on the board, which if he dealt with a 13, technically he may have dealt with a Scorch. Generally, they're not going to waste their Scorch on the first turn of round one. So you get a chance to build some big strength right off the bat and get an imposing board presence in round one. So that's good. The, the uh, Ekamara can then eat one of the two aforementioned people, and, and on and on it goes. Now, meanwhile, while this is all taking place and they're all eating each other, <laughs> circle of life, Gunter. Um, these Ekamara, these Necker are getting stronger. Um, and you want to play one in round one because if it doesn't get picked, which is a likelihood, another one will take its place. And that's why I don't need the Necker Warriors. I just use them as a placeholder for round one, two, and three for it to come up. Um, it's very cool. It's a very cool, interesting concept. So that kind of is similar in the front rows of all our decks. And this is where we get a little different as we go on. Uh, Geralt Igni is just very solid because it's a good card to bring back for early control to win a round. Also, you can use uh, Renew on him should you need it get into a tough spot. Um, so that's where Geralt Igni is in there. But this is what makes me se this is what separates me from the rest. This is my favorite tech. This is my favorite King of Beggars doo doo tech. <laughs> I hope it's not a doo doo tech. I hope it's a doo doo tech, uh, which is a big difference in how you say it. Um, so what Doodoo -doo does is if you see my other videos and if you haven't, really it's a shame on you. You're missing truly, um, great 
video. Um, what Dudu does is he copies the highest strength from the opponent. So if you're playing a Skellige deck, which is, let's face it, they're, they're pretty common, or you're facing a Soyatel deck that's pumping up specials and doing all sorts of fun stuff, Dudu comes in and gives you a 20 to 30 point swing depending on what they have. Because there's no real board clears here or no real defense other than mushrooms. And mushrooms are kind of defense but not really more for offense but kind of defense really for PFI. Um, but Dudu comes in and does a big swing. So let's say you're down 60 to 39 and they have a 30 point minion on the board. Well, they pass because they're like, hey, you're not going to get 21 points off this deck. Bam, Dudu comes in, copies their 30 point, you win 70 to 60. It's happened many times. Uh, right now I have a 90% win percent with this deck, but I have not tested it in rank. That's what this week's streams are all about. And we're going to look at the other monster feed decks and see what we all can do and do fun stuff with it. So King of Beggars Dudu tech is um, is my calling card. Uh, the Toad eats the something in the hand, which feeds, off, feeds into the Neckers and draws a card, which is needed. The Witches are my favorite thing. They are, these are the second tier Scooby Snacks. And these are basically Scooby Snacks, honestly, for Karen. Um, Karen loves to eat witches. Um, so that's what he's there for. They just kind of comes in, he feeds off of them, hopefully maybe in round one. You're going to try to win round one with power, and then take the next rounds with Renew of Karen or other stuff you do, Caretaker, things like that. So Karen loves to eat the witches. The witches are also good to eat for the, for the fiends or for the Ekimaras. So they're just there's six cards in here that you can eat safely to give you maximum punch and maximum value. Witches and Fiends. Um, and that's kind of the snacks. Those are the snack versions of the deck. Karen, you can renew and bring back. Caretaker is one of my favorite cards. I have the premium version, which is absolutely gorgeous. CD Projekt Red did a, an amazing job with this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, he's a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, and what he's used for is in round two to steal, let's say you're playing Skellige, because I played a lot of Skellige recently, uh, and they pump up, man, they're like, yeah, man, I got my skirmisher, they pump them up, pump them up, you take that in round two, kind of take a little bit of their joie de vivre, if you will, and you go ahead and you win the round. Um, very fun deck. I have some clear lights, because there's our monster weather decks out there, and that takes their soul a little bit and takes away from them. Also, it can be used to gather another fiend, or it can be used to gather a necker or a uh, I'm sorry, a ghoul or a fiend. So it's really good. You want to be careful, a uh, caveat, if you will, to using clear skies is you don't want to use it if you don't have a creature on the board, if you still have an Ekamara, a chance for drawing Ekamara, because you don't want to draw an Ekamara and be like, oh, uh, So, and then you have two Madron, Madron, and basically they're for pump up, maybe mostly for removal for PFI, or just some kind of defense in case things get out of hand to act like you're something other than you are. Uh, and that's the deck. That's my version of a monster feed. I call it Scooby Snacks again because, you know, root, root. Um, it's fun, man. It's won a lot of games. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun playing it. Um, it's simplistic, you know. It's that one trick pony that's good. The difference between my one trick and the other one tricks, which I guess would be three tricks, is that I have doo doo because I ate a lot. That's what I did there. Okay, so <laughs> I mean, if you're going to eat, you're going to have doo doo. It's just natural. It's just, it flows. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, uh, now that everybody has left, um, this is the video for my Scooby Snacks deck. Hope you enjoy it. Please vote. I have had a lot of issues with um, people. It's just been crazy on Gwen TV. All my decks got stripped down. Long story. It's per it sucks. But please vote for it. I really appreciate it. I'm Gwenify. I've had a great relationship with them. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. If you're here for the stream, I will probably stream some after this little video. So uh, thank you for watching. She Flew the Cards 2017, my first deck. Watch the – I'm now streaming every – well, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 to 10, and then maybe some other days when I have days off. So I'm back better than ever. I'm eating well, and I have doo-doo. Later. That's if you're in the Twitch stream. That's how I know that I can cut. <laughs>